Yes, Alex, so absolutely heartbreaking scenes here in the city of El Ad as the funeral process for two of last night's victims is taking place right behind me. Our cameraman, Igor, can show you that funeral procession for two of the victims, Jonathan Chavakuk and Boaz Gol, residents of El Ad, who are will be buried very soon, and Oren Beniftah, who will be buried in his city of Lod. We heard the families and we heard the residents earlier. The son of Boaz Gol uh, spoke to Israeli media about his devastating experience last night. He was right next to his father when the stabbing took place. He says his father told him, where's mom? Go home. The son also saying, I thought the bad guys wouldn't kill Jews, but then they actually did stab my dad. So absolutely terrible scenes here in the city of Alad, and thousands of the residents are here to show their respects for those who lost their lives. And earlier we had a chance to speak to the mayor of Elad, Israel Porush. Let's take a listen. The situation isn't simple. Lots of citizens are in shock. Most of the citizens know the dead ones. Lots of children go to school with the children of the victims. We've lost citizens. We need to take care of the children and those who witnessed the attack. Many people saw it. We need to bury the bodies and after that, we'll speak about all the rest. This is a very difficult tragedy. We are crushed and broken. I have no words. He was a quiet man and a good man, a man who loved to help others. A man who has accepted everyone, a family man, a father of six children. It is very, very difficult. Very difficult. We're like in a nightmare. I do not know how we get out of it. And Alec, of course, all of this is taking place as the manhunt for the two terrorists is still ongoing. Those two terrorists uh, started their uh, killing rampage last night at 8.30 uh, local time p.m. over here, went through a park filled with people, uh, killed those uh, three men, injuring four others, and then escaped to a nearby forest. And ever uh, since this morning, since we've been here, a helicopter is hovering over us, particularly over that uh, forest where these two terrorists might be hiding. We also know now that the father of one of the terrorists was arrested uh, just a few hours ago by the Israeli security forces inside Israeli territory. He, like his son and the other terrorists, were in Israel illegally, working here illegally. Those two terrorists worked in the city of El Ad, and then they slaughtered the residents of the city that gave them work. We also heard from a resident uh, who was here last night about uh, his feelings uh, when he heard the news about what's happening just outside his window. There is a bit of a sense of fear this morning. Everyone is stunned and quiet and hoping to hear good news. As for the feeling of security, we have never felt too safe. Now the truth is that the situation is better, but before we never felt too safe. We are always careful, we never felt safe with all the workers walking around here. My wife was always careful when walking, always apprehensive when she crossed the road and saw the Palestinian workers. And that's it for now from the city of Elad, I'm Guy Azra reporting for I-24 News.